Greetings Earthlings, it is I, Purple Related from the Purple Related Universe on YouTube. You are welcome to my channel, channel, channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. And <laughs> I think universal size, parties, it is free and accessible 24-7. Now, wow, so money is not a problem. Sometimes your body be turning on your own. You <laughs> need to change your friends, basically, get a new ton of squad. Hi, guys, it's probably related. You're welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for clicking play. You know how we do it. <laughs> um, today. We're going to be talking about FOMO, the Christian edition. FOMO means fear of missing out. Um, it basically means when you are anxious or worried that you are missing out on some action or on an event or something that is basically happening around you and want to be in on it, basically. What Christians are missing or as Christians, are we really missing anything? I've heard people say, oh, Christianity is boring. It's like you're living in prison. You don't get to have fun. You're too restricted. Yeah, 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 yeah. And <laughs> let me just say something. Um, usually the things that we are missing out on are usually temporary in enjoyment and their consequences are usually very permanent and they are usually of little or no eternal value if you think about it. Now, um, let's look at it. Drugs, alcohol, sex, money, fame and popularity, uh, the latest gadgets and accessories, latest cars, parties, acquaintances. So all these things, I mean, all of them, <laughs> let's look at them one by one usually these kind of things you can have them whether or not you are in the world so you don't have to be in the world to have them the only difference is you would have to have them in a different form and at a different time but then um the good thing or the amazing thing about being a christian is that the things you have access to no one else aside fellow christians have access to them so it's like you have you know exclusive access to things of god basically so if we're looking at it one by one, um, let's let's take it one by one. Let's start with drugs and alcohol. Ephesians five eighteen, I guess Ephesians five eighteen says, "Do not be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit." So the effects or the feeling you get when you are drunk or you are high, you can actually get that feeling at. A Holy Ghost meeting or in the presence of God or when you fellowship with God when you pray the only you know offside or onside in this case is that you do not have the adverse effects on your health you do not wake up with hangovers or headaches and you're not a detriment or a hazard to people around you and then you don't wake up with haphazard memories and stuff and then another advantage is every single time you experience this high or this joy in or this excitement in god's presence there is edification involved you can imagine and everybody benefits from it you never live the same way there is always something you take away i mean and then it is free and accessible 24 7 so why would you pay to kill yourself when you can freely edify yourself think about it <laughs> um let's move on to sex Sex is a beautiful thing, it's amazing, God created it, you know, for intimacy, for reproduction, whatever, it is sacred, all that juicy stuff, and you will definitely have sex. You will have sex so much that you will be sick of it. However, it will be when you are married. You can see that you will have it, but the timing is just different. And, I mean, in the context of marriage, you are guaranteed loyalty, or you should be guaranteed loyalty. Do you get so like you will still get to have it but just at a different time and then there won't be any guilt attached everything will be you know guilt free and stuff let's look at money proverbs 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 10 22 says the blessings of the lord maketh rich and added no sorrow unto it 
as Christians, what we have is even more than money. What we have is the power to create. So you should think out of the money box and think universal size. I mean, what we have is much more. Money is a list of the things that we can create with the power that we have. Think on a large as scale and think about the value you could create, the life you can affect, the people you could change, the souls you can save. I mean, it's much more than money. And money will come. Do you think God sees your needs and just wants you to wallow in poverty? Of course not. God knows that you need you know, money. He knows that the gospel needs to move forward with money. He knows that you have needs and he's always ready to meet them. In fact, he has already met them. All you need to do is to step into what he has done. So money is not a problem for you as a Christian. So that shouldn't be the reason why you turn to the world. It's just that your means of getting money will be different. They will be more legitimate and more honest and they might not be as quick and as instant as, you know, you would anticipate, basically. Parties. What do you need for a party? You need food, drinks, music, upbeat people, you know, a generally upbeat atmosphere, games, and all that fun stuff. And you can have all of that at Christian gatherings. I mean, if you go to a Christian party and it's dead or it's dry or it's boring, then you need to change your friends, basically. Get a new ton of squad because I my and my squad me and my squad we'll be having lit parties in the holy ghost there'll be food there'll be drinks there'll be games both spiritual and physical food and uh, we believe in edified we believe in you know sanctified and purified and whatnot <laughs> and it's always such a fun time you know when we gather to meet so if you don't experience this kind of thing then you should probably change your squad your turn up squad you don't have to go clubbing and, and and we never come back with hangovers and headaches and misplaced wallets and stuff do you get so it's always a fun experience when we party now friends i mean when you are not a christian there is nothing to miss out on in the terms of friendship because you can never be really too sure if someone really cares about you because people in the world are just basically selfish and you never know how people feel about you until they stab you in the back and i'm not saying christians don't make mistakes i'm just saying that because we have the same spirit you know there is something more propelling us you can be you know that you can be rest assured that someone showing you care is showing you care from a place of selflessness and from a place of you know growth and spirit and care and stuff and i mean there is just this assurance that you are being taken care of and even when your heart is broken there is comfort still you get so like there is a big difference between the friendships in christ and the friendships out of christ those ones you're just setting yourself up for heartbreak no i know it's easier said than done and sometimes your body be turning on your own <laughs> but god is not oblivious to these things he knows that we have desires he knows that we have needs he knows that we want these things and he's definitely ready to give them to us he wants us to have fun but then he wants us to have you know moderate and controlled fun because freedom without restraint is actually just bondage so he wants us to be wise and be you know moderate do everything with moderation basically so if you're a christian and you need to spice up your life you need to you know have more fun or you feel like you're missing out then first of all you need to change your mindset you need to change your friends and you need to change your activities and if you need help hit me up write it in the comment section you can slide into my dms and uh, we'll get this going and i'll help you out i'll give you some tips and tricks and whatnot so if you like this video you know what to do like this video and comment subscribe go and like all my other videos and have a great time just have fun don't worry you're not missing out on anything <laughs> see ya